Hey, welcome back to the Fight Cave. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and install this brand new um, Avengers Affinity Quest gym plunger. As you can see, even without the lights, there's definitely um, some different colors coming out of this already. So uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see uh, how this looks when it's finally installed, but it, it shouldn't be too hard of a process. Um, they actually gave me instructions on like my uh, amber plunger for my Jurassic Park. So let's get this started. All right, what I've done next is I unplugged the machine, removed the lockdown bar, and removed the glass. Please make sure to not plug any of this stuff in until you turn the power off and unplugged it just, just to be safe. So the next thing I'm going to do is use... Um, painter's tape to, to kind of uh, get an alignment that way when I take this off and I put the other plunger in it should line up in the exact same spot as you can see the play field is raised and the painter's tape is laid down and what we're going to do next is we're going to take off uh, all five of those screws And we're going to remove uh, that metal plate. And there's one that comes with the new plunger that will allow wires to fit through that. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. Okay, so here's all the parts. You're going to have a plunger that has two connections. You're going to have this little metal piece that holds uh, the plunger from the inside. And you see the two little gaps here for the wires. Uh, the, these two wires will connect to this uh, little adapter you can see there's some circuitry um, going on here and that will connect to this but I'm a little curious because I see two connections here but this one's just a black connection this is just a black wire right here so I might have to figure out how this works exactly but but here are all the parts uh, like I said make sure you keep all the original screws because you're going to need them as you can see, the plunger has been installed. And uh, make sure when you screw these in um, that you use the right size because you do not want to strip these. Uh, it takes a lot, of, uh, a lot of strength to get these nice and tight. These little brass ones will go in pretty easy. Uh, but these three right here in the bottom, you have to uh, really screw them in tight. And if you don't have the right size a screwdriver you're going to strip it and that's going to cause all kinds of other problems so now what we got to do is hook in the wiring harness uh, the first one will go to cn2 right here and then i think this one is cn15 right next to the shaker motor and then we'll run the line all the way here to kind of the little the right flipper holder right there the wire that holds it so that's going to be next. Okay, so we're all plugged in. We got the two wires plugged into this. I don't really know what this little adapter is called. It's running all the way through the clip holders that hold the wires. And it's connected to CN2 and I believe CN15 right here. And right, let me see here, right here. No, right here. This is the shaker motor, and right here is the plunger. So let's go ahead and fire it up and see if it's working before I lower the play field. All right, as you can see, um, it's working. So install is great. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the painter's tape, turn it back off, lower the play field, and uh, I'll show you everything I've done on this uh, table. Depending on the gem cuts, they'll change the colors, so that's pretty cool. So here we go. It's all finished. It's all complete. All the official stern accessories have been put on. As you can see, uh, the gem Fady Quest knob, or the gem knob, is there. It changes color. It, it coordinates with the game, so if you have a Captain America ball save, it will turn blue. I showed you how it changes in the gem quest. Very cool. I'm glad I got it. Um, 
moving on we have the official art blades which um i don't think sometimes you know there'll be somebody else who puts out better art blades uh, i don't think anyone will be able to top this this is just a really great job that matches uh, the artwork by zombie yeti um i have the topper which i like um uh, it has a uh, extra extra little multi-ball um it's a progressive jackpot you have to collect all the stones and it carries over game to game so that's really cool i have a shaker motor which uh you can't really see but it's there and then i have the the side armor so oh yeah and also i switched out the translate this is not a premium i'm not trying to pretend it's a premium uh but um that artwork i think is just superior and it's also signed by Zombie Yeti, where I can see it. It's right there. You can't really see it when it's lit up. You can see it a lot better uh, when it's, the light is off. So, yeah, my Avengers is all done. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, until next time.